Welcome back, everyone. The time now is 6.43 on this Monday morning. Good morning to you all. Well, today would be the best chance for you to see some snow out there. So if you go down to Mount Laguna, it's about a one hour, 30 minute drive. You'll see some heavy snow there along Sunrise Highway. Even Julian, we saw earlier that they were receiving some first glances of snow, but it's unclear if that will continue to progress later in the day. But for now, here is a live look on your RBL Yuma Skycam this morning. So overall clear conditions and very chilly temperatures as well. So taking a look at the weather headlines to see what to expect. Today will be the coldest day of the week as that low pressure system will continue to move downward to our area. So those increased winds that we saw last night will soon downgrade, especially as we move forward in the afternoon and moving forward into the end of the week. And another stable warm up will follow this cold weather pattern as we progress into this weekend. So taking a look at the future cast, you can see why this is so so that polar jet stream is moving down southward to Arizona, giving us much cooler conditions moving forward into the rest of the day. So overall, good news for us here in the desert, the desert southwest, giving us some much needed relief from all the heat that we've been experiencing all week long last week. So right now in Yuma County, 51 degrees overall, 56% for the humidity levels. Some will set tonight at 541. And taking a look at the AQIs for the valley areas, it is 100% in the clear. So good news throughout for everyone here in the desert southwest. And overall this afternoon, you can see those temperatures are going to be just at the 66 degree mark. So 66 expected in Yuma County, as well as in the valley area, 64 degrees up in Blythe, 63 in Welton. Moving forward into later this evening, though, you can see it's going to be much cooler at 44 degrees in Yuma, 39 degrees in Summerton, 40 degrees overall in Imperial. So might want to double up Joe's uh, blankets if you are going to be awake during those overnight hours. So as we take a look at the next eight days, you can see some of the trends and patterns here. Like I mentioned, today is going to be the coldest day of the week, eventually warming up incrementally uh, towards the middle of the week on Wednesday, 72 degrees for the highs there, 46 degrees for the lows. But take a look at Saturday and Sunday. It's going to remain anywhere from the mid 70s for the highs and then the lows will be coming in within the 50 degree mark, 53 degrees on Saturday. Monday, we are going to be receiving some extra wind activity there with the highs coming in at 51 degrees. Imperial Valley seeing a similar trend here as well, 66 degrees today. Middle of the week, Wednesday, 72 degrees and then eventually this weekend, 77 to 79 degrees for the highs. And in your consumer news this morning, election day was nearly a week ago and results are still coming.